What's going on, folks? It has been a while. I'm sure uh, many of you noticed that uh, my my posting, my uploading, my comments and videos have getting uh, have been getting more and more sparse. That's not uh, a sign of anything bad happening. I would say actually it's quite the contrary. Um, so I've come to to the decision that I am not going to continue with the podcast as you know it. So most of you don't consume this podcast by watching YouTube, which is fine. It's much easier to uh, be passive and kind of you know play with your phone or fucking whatever you're doing if you're just listening to this on whatever podcast you're listening to. Um... My main reason for this is is nothing spectacular. It's not uh, no major life change. It's kind of a thought that I've been having for a while now. And you know, when I first started this podcast, it was to it was strictly just for me, just to kind of get my thoughts out there and have them be just explored in every way possible and. A part of doing that was sharing everything, which there's no going back from, I'll tell you that. Um, and I, I feel like I helped quite a few people. And, it, it, you know, it's made me feel good, but after kind of figuring myself out with everything, uh, specifically my sexuality, it's the topic itself of cross-dressing and trans is just something that I don't I don't want to have have that be the forefront of of every single podcast I it's just not it's not as interesting to me and I also know uh mostly by the numbers that a lot of what I'm talking about or a lot of what I share it's just not that appealing anymore. I could I could tell by looking at the number of downloads uh, per episode. It's gone down dramatically. And that doesn't make me sad. Um, a few people that have contacted me through uh, email or my phone number uh, have mentioned that, you know, hey, you just don't seem like the same person you were a few years ago. All those uh, earlier episodes were really exciting and sexy and kind of spicy in which they were and that the stuff that i was sharing uh for the most part happened a long long time ago and i was just being honest with my experience as i move forward though i don't i personally don't get excited by the same stuff um now for me getting like dressed up and going out it's just a part of my everyday life now so whether i go to job interviews kind of looking like this version of myself or i go to the gas station or i go to a store or museum or an arcade or a bar or whatever i'm just kind of not doing it for thrills anymore i i'm very i'm very content with where I sit with everything and I'm, I'm really happy. So I decided regarding the podcast, I am just not going to be hosting it anymore through Buzzsprout. I, from what they say on their website, I didn't even ask. It just kind of tells you when you sign up with your payment plans and everything like, Hey, if you discontinue, uh, your stuff isn't going to get saved. It's just going to get discarded, which is fair. That's, that's a lot of fucking data that they would have to hang on to that nobody would really be paying for anymore. Um, and because of the lack of interest for myself as well, as well as everybody else, I'm just not going to continue the podcast and that particular style of audio format. I will continue it on YouTube um, with some of the guests that I have on there. They're just not overly comfortable with uh, being on camera and, and showing their face or or whatever. And that's totally fine. Um, all the people that I've had on thus far, my friends, and I don't want to 
put them in any uncomfortable territory just because like I want to fucking get clicks or whatever. So it's just it's just me kind of talking with my friends, but with where I stand now with my conversations with my friends and family members, I want to just share that with the rest of the world and and just have those silly memories or moments be to share with everybody. You know, I can't tell you how many times and I'm being very serious about this with all sorts of different conversations or moments or incidents or circumstances that have happened with friends, lovers, uh, family members, whatever, that I w it was so fucking hilarious or it was so in insightful or thoughtful that I, would j I just, that magical moment that makes it magical is just gone and it's for our memories and then maybe as time goes on, the decades pass, you just maybe forget about it or you don't remember the the fantastical details. And I don't want to stop talking. You know, I don't want to stop sharing my experience with things and I, I very much would like to continue having conversations about whatever. Um, but because I'm doing so out of just through the lens right now of wanting to like live and share life and um, not try to chase the monetary aspect of it, uh, it would just be better for me. And I think it would be better for everybody else because, um, you know, all my initial uh, correspondence that I would get from everybody would just be about the cross-dressing stuff. And if you were to like look at my numbers with all the individual downloads, it's all it's like all the kinkier episodes are have tons and tons of downloads, which is fine. It doesn't make me mad. I, I think that's actually expected, you know. I just don't want to talk about that stuff so much anymore. It just doesn't excite me. And, you know, I know a part of it is the hormones because my, my sex drive has, like, been drastically reduced. That being said, I'm super happy in life, uh, especially with that, because when I when I am having like sexy time, as we'll call it, uh, I get a fulfilling. I get a different type of um, fulfilling, nurturing type of uh, type of vibe than I used to get. You know, um, and I, I'm not saying I'm not going to talk about that stuff. I, I'm totally going to talk about that stuff. But I, I know it's just not going to be appealing because of the way that I used to talk about, the, you know, the cross-dressing stuff. Like, oh, when, when everybody was sleeping and it was really dark outside, I would, I would slide on my stockings terrified that anybody was going to find me. And then I would put on my panties and my high heels and I would walk down the whatever... And I could hear my, you know, my high heels clicking against the... Con I just don't... It, it, that's just not where it's at for me anymore. Um, I still do sexy stuff, you know. I, I still make adult content. I'm, I'm going live now more often with my videos and stuff like that. And I'm including my current boyfriend in my videos. It's just... Um, it's not the same delivery mechanism and the same the same package isn't getting delivered it's a whole different product if you kind of want to think about it like that and i don't want to mislead anybody and you know one of the things that makes me feel kind of nice is that uh i know at, at certain points with some websites when they talk about cross-dressing podcasts like i'm up there um but i kind of feel like i served my purpose uh it's you know, it's it's on YouTube or whatever, and am I am I going to lose uh, a chunk of you? Because I'm not going to be on a podcast, at least as as far as I understand it. Yeah, that's that it, that's going to be what it is. Will um will it ever go back or revert to being on a podcast? I don't know. To re-upload all those episodes, how long that would take? I fucking don't care about it that much i gotta be honest with you 
um, I know obviously I don't have fucking Joe Rogan numbers, like having thousands of episodes and especially like uploading audio, it wouldn't be that many episodes, I guess. But I just, I'm, you know, if I'm being honest with my adult content, as well as the podcast, the more places you have to like upload and fucking and share trailers and links and all, I just, it's just another thing that I'm paying for. Uh, and more time spent typing in fucking what the episode is about and what episode number it's on and when I'm going to fucking upload it and and the monthly fee. You know, I just don't... It's, it's fucking whatever, you know? And let's face it. If, if you guys are wanting to, like, listen to a spicy podcast, it's fucking not mine. You know, it's not mine. And that's fine. Uh, so, yeah. So, if you want to... At least for now, if you want to uh, tune in to the uh, the YouTube channel, um, you're more than welcome to. If not, I totally get it. Uh, I am probably going to have this, the actual podcast portion, just the audio portion, up for like another few weeks. Just so kind of everybody can get the memo, and then I'm just not going to, to re-up on the subscription. And... Um, you know, fucking, what's going to be that? Hang on, I got to hydrate here. Oh, it's good shit. Water's cold as fuck. Uh, so other news, I'm not working at Bucky's anymore. I don't want to go into all the details with everything, but I'm happy with the way everything went down. I'm not working there anymore. Currently, I'm unemployed uh, but don't worry, I have several several grand kind of stashed away. Um, I have been being very uh, prolific in my app filling. Uh, I probably do anywhere three to five applications a day, which, you know, when you go through Monster, Indeed, and ZipRecruiter, and fucking Craigslist, it's just, I keep, keep trying to figure it out. Um... In the meantime, my car is actually getting work done because whatever the issue was with it, I could not figure it out. Um, so hopefully that gets done pretty quick here. The uh, relationship is going great with the uh, with the boyfriend, Damien. Um, like I said, I've been I've been uploading live much more often, but the biggest news. Uh, besides this piercing that I have in my nose, this uh, septum piercing fucking hurt like hell. I think I look sexy with it. I'm glad I got it. Um, that, it fucking, she had to like force the needle through, man. It was rough. But uh, we're healing up pretty good. Um, so other news is that I have scheduled my facial feminization surgery as well as breast implants for next month august 6th i do not have a time yet but um damien has already taken the day off so he can take me to my procedure and then pick me up from it uh if I'm being honest, I'm much more nervous than I have been in the past. Uh, I'm anxious. I'm excited. But there's definitely no going back after this, which I, um, I'm happy about. Uh, so with the, uh, with the facial feminization surgery, I'm going to get a little nose job to have it kind of get pointed up at the end. I'm going to get a lip lift. That means that the, uh, I think this is called the filtrum. Uh, they basically cut underneath your nose a certain amount and just lift it up. So your, uh, your upper, upper lip will kind of be um, raised a little bit higher and kind of out. So it'll be a little bit more pouty. I am going to get my jawline shaved down and we are going to be removing my love handles. And with that fat, they are going to inject in my temples and other areas of my face to give me a, a more feminine appearance. 
And then uh, for the breast implants, I am going to be getting, uh, I think, 800 cc's is what we're is what we're going for something like that um we are going with a wider profile at the base uh because i have a wider chest so all this right here it's roughly an inch or so and it kind of spreads out as you go a little bit higher up of just empty space and with um with that large of breast implants it should help definitely fill in that gap that's been really nice. I have been having really good growth. Um, I feel like my, my hips, at least the fat on them, have kind of changed shape. I had to get a, uh, when I was working at Bucky's, I actually had to go up to a size 36 waist for my work shorts when for the longest time I was between a 30 and a 32. And then all of a sudden I shot up once I got on medication. I started gaining weight and feeling good with everything. So, um... With all that being said, uh, yeah, I have a lot going on, and um, this is kind of uh, this is kind of the last leg of the stretch here. Uh, I I was thinking about at least seeing somebody about a hair implant. And just seeing if I can kind of get my money's worth out of that, just because I'm really not happy with that. If if that would be, if I would able be able to get that with decent results, I think I would probably go for it. And the cool thing is, is yeah, it takes like eight hours, but you don't have to go under, and you you don't fucking it's like whatever. But you know, one thing at a time. Um, this piercing, I just couldn't help myself. I I was like really excited about getting approved for the surgery and i was like you know what fuck it let's just let's just go and do it because i've been thinking about this for a while anyways and i just fucking showed up and while it was happening i had regrets because it fucking was not a uh, smooth process in my uh particular case but you know it is what it is um probably after my surgery i'm going to get some tattoos on my inner wrist, uh, on my inner wrist. I talked about that, I think, on the last episode. So, I just don't want to be spending um, crazy amounts of money because I, I have a lot going on right now, and I'm trying to downsize everything. And it just, I'm going in all kinds of different directions. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna wait until afterwards, just until the dust dust settles with everything, and I'm healing up, and I can afford to kind of get stabbed a little bit more. But um. Yeah, that, I really didn't have much else to talk about, to be honest with you folks. This is just a, uh, I guess, another update. Um, I talked with my uh, my buddy Dave. He, uh, I didn't even mention it to him. He, he said he wanted to be on the podcast again because he had such a fun time doing it. Uh, my buddy Rich, he wants to get on again. And my uh, cousin Jason, he's been doing stuff, and he wants me to get on his. So I don't know. I'm just things in in terms of the the creativity department are very good right now, and I'm just really really fucking happy with everything. Um, I am going to. The, I think the next episode I might record if I do is most likely going to be post surgery, so it's going to be just about a month from now. Um, so I guess, you know, stay tuned if you, if you like hearing me ramble on about stuff. I know a lot of you that cross-dress kind of listen to this and maybe hopes of, uh, getting some sort of a clarification of maybe why, why you feel the way you do, especially with my earlier episodes, or just to kind of know that you're not alone with some of your sexual activities or thoughts or behaviors, Maybe some of you are even considering transitioning and want to know what the hormone process is like, how it feels, how to go about it, how much it costs, medical procedures. Um, uh, so I, I understand if you don't want to, you know, tag along any further just because I'm not kind of um, helping you kind of get your your sexual kicks. And that's that's fine. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be mad about it. That would be ridiculous. 
But uh, just know, I, I appreciate everybody that's kind of um, kind of been with me on this journey for the past couple of years now. It's been it's been really fun. And again, I'm not I'm not quitting. I'm just not sticking with the audio version only of the podcast. I'm just gonna put it on YouTube. It's just one less thing I have to pay for, and, and another less place I have to upload. And that's it. So don't don't think that I'm I'm doing this because I'm I'm currently in a state of anger or desperation or I'm frazzled in some way emotionally. No, it's fucking it's Thursday, twelve eleven noon, and uh, I'm fucking loving life. Uh, as a matter of fact, after this, I am going to. Um, Get a little bit to eat and uh, start writing on my book a little bit more. And then maybe after that, make a little bit of adult content. And then head over to the boyfriend's house for dinner. So things uh, things are definitely in the up and up for me. Uh, if you, I, I'll still answer any comments, questions, concerns you have um, on the podcast. But I'm... Again, I'm not going to be uploading the audio version to whatever podcast you listen to. Um, I'm going to upload everything to Buzzsprout probably one more time for the next few weeks, and then that's it. But you'll be able to get your answers on the YouTube version. So, uh, so anyways, OriginalSyn1369 at gmail.com. Again, that is OriginalSyn1369 at gmail.com. I'll talk to you later, folks. Bye.